Hello. Today we're in Monrovia, California, installing on this 40 pound Speed Queen commercial washer. We have our Shine Paste Spark ready, and we already have our label attached to the machine that matches the number on the spark. Quick overview we have our power connector, which is a little bit hidden in the machine, and then we have our input and output of the coin mech. We've already We've already disconnected the power. The most crucial step of every Shine Pay install is ensuring that the power is disconnected by no display. We also took the liberty of taking the top off and taking the electronics department off as well. There's a little cover with some screws that you need to take off to expose the electronics. We're first going to start with installing the power connector. Now, the power connector is hidden in the bottom corner down there. Um, you can kind of see it from the corner. And we're just going to try to get our hand, snake our hand around and get that connector in. There we go. We heard the snap. And you can see it's down there, um, you know, in the corner, bottom corner. And then we're going to come around and look for the coin mech and the coin mech cable. We're going to unplug the coin mech from the computer, minding that there are two coin mech connectors. We want to make sure to plug it, the spark into the, the coin mech connector that the coin mech was plugged into. So we're just going to find that mating connector on our spark and we're basically just going to plug that in. And then this is optional. But if you want to keep using coins, you need to plug in the coin mech to the Shine Paste Spark as well. Listen for the snap. Now we're just going to take our spark and stick it underneath here. Just out of the way. go just tucked in under there and that's our shine pay installation now we just need to button up the machine 